Welcome back everybody to yet another bow review and today we have the updated version of the crab bow, the Persian crab bow from AF Archery. They sent one to me, they did some updates, I don't know exactly which one, so we just will find out. You get a bow, a string, a sleeve. And we have here two parted. Packed well, obviously, like always, AF style, nice sleeve. And I don't know which poundage, so that's why we need to see which arrows we will use and every cost. Nice. So I still remember little one from the a little bit from the old one. Nice. So what is new? I don't know. Looks good for sure. We have a different wood, but it, it's only the wood here, yeah, the brighter wood. Nice handle wrap again. It's a 30 pounder. Nice, so something in a low poundage. I think this one is new here, this, uh, but I'm not sure. I think the old one had a string pad and this one has a string groove. I need to check the old video again, I don't know anymore. Nice reinforcement here, very thin. Look at this, huh? very thin. Looks pretty good. It's from AF Archery, the Persian crab bow. It's a crab Mughal design. It's a laminated bow. It's 134 centimeters long or 52.8 inches. The string is 122 centimeters or 48 inches. You can have it from 20 to 50 pounds and the max draw is 30 inches. And this one is now, what did I say, 30 pounds? So we, we know already the poundage. That's all I have on information. And I didn't write another price. I think it's 300, but I will write it there. I don't know now, 360 or something. And there is no recommendation of error weight, but I think like with the last one, we ended up with nine grain. It's glass fiber, bamboo and maple. I never trust the weather apps in Malta. It was raining now all, all, all afternoon. Luckily it stopped now and I hope it will not oops, start again. Bum, 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 alongside the belly. 55 inches from knock to knock. Arrow pass, we have an arrow pass and it's easy to determine which one is the upper part because here we have our logo. But we have two arrow passes on both sides, so I guess you could shoot this bow upside down too. I take it in the center of the arrow pass because it goes a little narrow upwards. It's 22 millimeters, that's very nice. 22, now we can string this pretty bow. Thank you by the way AF for making these nice bows. Oh, let's hope the best for the, let's hope for the best and of course the rain didn't cool down anything it simply got more humid this is slightly longer and we take this as the top part let's see how easy the bow is to string so i'm not sure if the old one had this long string groove here but it's nice i will check again the old video if it had or not stringing oops very easy. So you make sure that you're in a groove here and another groove here. Nice. Look at this. Oh, oh. <laughs> pretty. So I like this Mughal style pose a lot. Straight. Oh, not a lot going on. Very nice. Brace height from here to here, seven and three quarter. It's quite a lot, but I guess Mughal bows had quite some brace height. Nice and the weight, of course. Yes, yes, I tell you, it's not heavy. 320, 330, 330. Good. Now well, let's see. There is not a lot going on here. Well, it's relatively stiff, and here it's good stiff too. And here the same. You have here a point, here a point, and then you have this long. Uh, you know where it can go off here but it's relatively stable so very well done 
28, 29, 30, easy. Would do 31, but they limit it to 30, which makes sense. Draws really nice. Look at this nice book. Huh? You see it? Look at this. Nice. So they are 30. No stacking. Draw curve is really nice. So now I need to see 9 grain, 30 pounds. So we end up with 30 with 36 pounds. So I can use range arrows, I guess. The long ones are 32 inches. I get some. And then we shoot this pretty bow. Let's see what the bow is doing. 10 meters. The arrows are a bit too long. They're 32 inches. 30 is here. Nice. A bit to the left. Very narrow arrow pass. So. Oh. You hear that? Nice, so there's not a lot going on. One, two, one, two. <laughs> awesome that you see what I'm doing. And thumb protection glove from Freddy Archery. Ah, still a little to the left, look at this. Huh? Easy peasy, it's a short bow, but it's predictable. So you know what this bow is doing, you feel it a little in the hand with this arrow, so maybe they're a tick too lightweight, but I don't care, 20. Nice, yep, still a little to the left. <laughs> still a little to the left. Cut a constant. Nice, so even a little. Hmm? It's just a nice bow, a fun shooter. Really good. Directly 30 meters because. Oops. Oh, that was a center shot. You saw that, but the arrow didn't stick. And I think I draw now a little more than 30 inches. Oh, nice, look at this. You really know what this bow is doing. The handle is a little small, but still is good in the hand. Narrow arrow pass, long brace height. Forgiving for a small, tricky bow design like this. Wow, Kida, let's see. A nice bow. And the draw is very smooth, 28. And we have 29 pounds, so good for me. And 30 is here. We have 33.5. That's fine too. So, thank you. 28. Easy peasy. And string angle, see, not there yet. Very nice. Very nice. So we are at 30 inches with our string angle, I guess. Look at this and then the curves. Yep, see? Yeah, almost a little more, but we leave it at 30. Look at these nice curves. And there's no stacking. I mean stacking in the sense of that the bow gets too stiff after 30 inches like we had with some bows when they mentioned max draw 34 and after 33 the bow gets stiff. This one is here really nice, draws really nice. Not sure if a 50 pound version would behave the same but this one is just 28, 29, 30. See and there's still a little wiggle room back there and what is nice, look at this, there's, maybe have it, but not even, look, there's from the beginning, from here is already tension, so a really well built bow, can't see anything else. Looks nice, has this brown reinforcement, I don't know what the material is. Nice made, a nice deep knock and groove, so you don't have the risk that it will break off here easily. Nice, like, like a tatar here, the, I don't know if you can call it Kazan, most probably not. Then we have here a black layer inside running, but it is only here. No, I don't know. 
maybe here only as a reinforcement. Because here I don't see it anymore. No. So most probably have only this reinforcement running here that this is gets more stiff, which makes totally sense. You see that here? And then you have this nice string, this nice long string groove where the string always lines up even if the bow is slightly off. Really good. Wow. Handle is pretty nice. Looks a little like a mariner. <laughs> Raskin, Raskin. Would be nice if this would be something else, so you know in which direction you directly have to hold it. But as I said, it's easy. You have here the logo, so you know how to hold the bow. I like this bow a lot. And you hear that? There's very dampened already, so there's not a lot going on. Really good. 33 point something, 0.5 pounds, I think, and 300 grain arrows. At 79. Yes, I expected that. 188. Nice. Look at this. 185. Shall we shoot three more? Okay. I mean, as if you could do something against it. <laughs> so 185 was the last one. 187. Seven hundred eighty-six. Awesome performance for this bow. I didn't expect that. You feel it a little in the hand, but it's completely not annoying. So just I remember now I felt it a little. So maybe a little bit more arrow weight, and then you're still at 175 foot per second, which is fine for this bow. Oops. A little scared to shoot my tripod and my camera. <laughs> Still to the left. But! <laughs> wow. Just wow. Get one, really. Get one. <laughs> I remember that the other one was here, the sprite wood, and here, here the darker wood was looking optically a little nicer, but the performance of this one, and I really think that this. I don't know what they did here. There's a black layer in. Gives this whole thing more stability and even more accuracy. So with this one, easy, easy. Oh. If you want, it's with this handle here, easy peasy, no problem. Not sure if this bow is really for horseback, but why not? Looks a little too fragile for me, but you can. Even three fingers, a heck of fun this bow, holy moly. Well done, AF, well done. A serious little bow, a serious little shooter. Yeah, even this direction would work, no problem. Oh, but of course you need to make sure that the arrows are outside of the bow here. This makes some noise, which is not nice. Oh, nice bow. I really do like this bow. I hold it in upright that you see the curves at full draw. Look at this. Center shot. <laughs> so if you don't want to move your bow hand, it's fine too with this bow. And now let's see a bit katra. Yeah, ooh, go through the target, but it really feels good. But even if you want to hold it steady, no problem. This bow performs either way just brilliantly. Nice. Oui. 
Maya. Just right for my shoulders and muscles. 30 pounds. <laughs> Just <laughs> I love this ball. And you know, you instantly get decent groupings out of this bow. Show the la hoo-ha. Nice bowstring sleeve. Nothing else gives you, what did we have always? Four points. Handling of this bow, I thought now it would be tricky to string because of all the curvature and all of this. But it's easy, at least in 30 pounds, easy to string in 50 pounds. So probably it's a little trickier. But as long as you know the basics of how to string a bow, this bow just is nice. And this bow is straight, so there is no... This handling is totally easy, give you 10 points. The build is just nice. I said here is nothing minimal. And for the rest it's really nice crafted with this layer inside. I guess it's really a stabilization layer here. It runs here and I think it runs out here. Yeah. So you have especially this knee or this elbow, which is called the other bow. The elbow more stiff and that makes so much sense. This bow is really, you are not afraid that this bow will break. So this bow can take a punch 10 for the build. Basic feel, this bow feels like a charm. Handle is nice, could be for me a little bigger, but it's fine. And here is nothing wiggling. So here, nothing, not wiggling at all. It's relatively sturdy in this direction and good sturdy in this direction. So nothing to complain about this. So I guess even torque a little bit would work with this bow. I will shoot the, sh shoot the heck out of this bow and see what it, how it will behave. 10. Draw experience is just from the beginning here. There's a slack of maybe half an inch. And then you feel it already. And then it goes nice up, 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 up and until 30 inches, no problem. Here, you see, and you see the, <laughs> the big levers coming in and this just feels really good. It feels really good, 10. And shooting experience, nothing going on and the bow gives you feedback. So I didn't expect that now with this small one here. But directly I knew what I was doing. So of course you need a few shots that you get then the, the, the hang of it. But this bow is always doing the same. And when you do the same, then you work just like a charm, charm together. 10 gives you 54 because of packaging. Hmm? And price value, I think it's $360 or something. I don't know now, but for sure in this price range something. Oh, this humid totally worth it so if you don't have one of this design bows yet and you don't want to go for a you know composite bow with a horn and whatever it's a really good option and this is even something for the weekend shoot uh, you know this in 30 what 35 pounds it's just nice draw smooth you don't need heavy arrows. You have a lot of fun with this bow. So I give you five points for this because it's really, my opinion, the bow is worth it. But I will check the price on the website again, but you can check the same on the website and you see what this bow is doing. So I guess the reinforcement here is what was new on the bow because for the rest, I think it's the same. It's a really, I mean, I like the first version already a lot, but this one, Mm. It's, it's, it's a keeper. So this one doesn't go anywhere. Really nice. So thank you very much AF Archery for building this pretty bows. Really nice. And that's all I have for you today. Thank you very much for watching. Catch you in the next one. Mm -hmm.